Don't turn the page. Let's just say that if he did, Wait, this why? innocent young crowd of Disney-going children would be getting an early art school education in figure drawing, also known as artistic news. Oh my god! Before the video begins, I just want to say shout out to Super Sonic Mikey because he made my intro, and shout out to Super Mario Gamer 001 because I'm trying to get him to 1K subscribers. So anyway, let's start the video. I don't react to them, but I like them. Um, so, um, one day ago, Riley Welch just like wanted to react to, um, one of her videos, um, Bidden While Defending a Friend, um, her new video about, like, three months ago, because, um, RML, that, uh, means Reaction, Reaction Mush Up Lover Remake, um, he wanted me, he wanted more people to react to us, so he can make a Reaction Mush Up about it, and... Surprisingly, I uploaded my reaction late, but it still did good. We got a thousand and eleven, a thousand and eleven views. Yeah, so that's why I was like, you know what? If people like, if people like my first reaction to one of our videos, why not just react to our videos, all right? So that's what we are going to do. She uploaded a new video about twenty-two minutes ago, and we are going to react to it. So let's see how this video is now. Let's see how street performers are picking on her again. So let's see how this video is. In three, two, one, we are back and cheese. We are back and cheese. You want to know one of the weird random things that has helped keep me sane throughout this whole quarantine? Barbershop quartets. Hey, what? listen, don't pretend like you don't have one of those weird interests that not even your best friends know about. We all have one. I just choose to bring up mine to millions of people. But seriously, barbershop quartets. Hear me out for two seconds. It's basically a bunch of the most dad-looking guys pitch perfectly oh. singing parody Disney songs with jokes and the occasional tap dance thrown in. Oh. So, you know, it's So that's how it works. So these guys in particular are called Main Street. This is my baby sister, guys. So so Disney World. Hmm. Disney World. Street performers. Cheap segues. I do believe this means we have a sequel on our hands. Welcome to Disney hmm. Street Performers Pick On Me 2. Although I'm probably gonna call the video something different in the title so the algorithm doesn't flag me as for kids. Roll film. All right. When last we left our heroine Rebecca, she was singled out by the citizens of Main Street and made to sing Disney show tunes to a crowd of people. But alas, our young star Aren't has landed herself twerking? in a new predicament. Now hmm. she must face off with the citizens of Hollywood, a group of 1930s and 40s style boulevard urchins Play up the yeah, I Disney's Hollywood Studios. So back in ye old animation school days, sometimes I had a Yeah, maybe I should check out the first one. one weekend, I went to Hollywood Studios I probably... myself. When I got there, I headed straight for the tower. Cuz I'm probably not going to get none of the references hey, since this is just getting started. Now, pick on me again, so there has to be a video talking about this before. And, and then she just so ended it. So like, you know, I have to watch that video. So I have to find that video actually. Because I said I watched it. I didn't say I watched all her videos. Disney street performers. And Disney street performers love me because they can tell I'll play along. Case in point, in the middle of this performance, the other characters started going into this monologue about how Freddy will never work in this town again. And Freddy, oh, acting scared, came over to me and hugged on me for comfort. My peculiar instincts tell me that this was him testing to see if I was comfortable being part of the bit. Hmm, no, she won't file a harassment claim. She reeks of theater kid. What the? And lemons. For his grand finale, Freddy was gonna do. Oh my for God. He needed to hype up the crowd, so he yelled out, Are you all ready to see me do a trick? And the crowd cheered back. You're like, yeah! He zeroed in on me and yelled, Hey, lady! Are you ready to see me do a trick? 
He then purposefully dropped a hat and bent down uh, seductively, showing me his uh ass. his hams. The audience lost it, of course. A veritable roar of laughter. Yeah, he's and dig on you. He wants the getting all flustered and batting my eyes. And when the act finally ended, Freddy and his friend jumped into their jalopy and started smash. rolling away, with Freddy pointing at me, giving me the call me signal. Uh, how delightful. Disney magic, ten out of ten. But it doesn't end there. Oh, you meet him again? I got in line for the Tower of Terror. Back then, I always carried around a sketchbook and pencils with oh, me. Oh, a sketchbook. So as I was oh. waiting, I was trying to draw Ready Freddy Fiddlesticks from memory. And I was getting a little bit frustrated because I couldn't quite remember the details of his costume. But I made my half-finished sketch and rode the ride. When I got off, however, you'll never guess who was outside doing a bit with two new characters. <gasps> it was him! Freddy! Freddy. So, what luck! I'll be able to finish my sketch! Now, let me offer you some advice about not getting picked on by street performers. If you don't want to be part of the act, don't do something that sets you apart from everybody else in the crowd. By being in the like front. drawing. Because as I stood there innocently finishing up my sketch, unbeknownst to me, one of the other characters had snuck up behind me and was watching over my shoulder. What the hell? Hey, uh, what Mac, you think you can dangle two steps over? You're blocking the light. He was hey, like, Mr. Vanderbilt, I know something. This girl is drawing Freddy. He was like, what? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's the fastest a man has ever moved in my direction. While Freddy stood there so next to me, oogling over this very mediocre drawing of himself, the third actor, playing a big important movie that producer, so came over as well. He reached for the sketchbook, but mid-grab, he at least had the wisdom to ask me under his breath, May I show this? And as the book was leaving my hands, I was like, all I had ah, time shit. to quietly say was, "Don't turn the page." Let's just say that if he did, Wait, the why? young crowd of Disney-going children would be getting an early art school education in figure drawing, also known as artistic news. Oh my god! At that point, he'd lose his you, job, and I'd have to rip up my Disney Freddy Freddy without no clothes. Because I just know I'd be sitting in that interview, and the recruiter would say. Our records indicate that Why? you flashed naked people drawings to a bunch of kids while visiting Hollywood Studios four years ago? Uh, no. You're thinking of the crazy Rebecca Parham that makes YouTube videos. Thankfully, he okay. heard me because he just held up the page with Freddy's drawing on it. There were some oohs and ahs from the Ooh. crowd, but in that moment, all I remember thinking was, Man, I wish I was a better drawer. The actor gave me back the sketchbook, reached into his coat pocket, said, Very good, very good, well done, and handed me a fake hundred dollar bill. A shame it wasn't real. Would have been able to afford a soda. Freddy was still oh. drooling over the drawing, so I asked him to sign it. And he was thrilled to do so. Here is the actual sketchbook from that day. Oh! oh. This, is a, this is an old one. And here is the drawing of Ready Freddy Fiddlesticks. There's his signature, oh. and here's the fake hundred dollar bill that the... That actually, looks good. That actually looks good in my opinion, but then again, I'm not, I'm not good at drawing, drawing so like, what would I know? But I'll never forget how happy it made Freddy. It was a good reminder that the little things can matter a lot to people. And you should never underestimate the little things you can do. Well, that's all I got for you, explainers and entertainers. Thank you so much for tuning in, but now I gotta tune out. So long. What? What was the point of saying boo hey for? Hey everyone, Rebecca here. Just want to say a couple things before the video ends. First and foremost, I hope everybody is remaining safe and responsible and not going out to any theme parks right now until it is absolutely safe to do so. Number two, as some of you may have heard, I did get really, really sick a while back and my doctor did diagnose me with oh. COVID-19. And I just wanted to let everybody oh, know that oh, I am okay. Oh, um, I am James voice is pretty good. I get a lot of questions about it every single day, and I just also oh, sorry I didn't know you were sick. I'm, I'm sorry, but it is one of the reasons why this video came out so late. So I'm very sorry about that. If you mm -hmm. want to know what it was like, I did do a firebug chat on my second channel about the topic, so you can just click over there and give that a listen. Thank yeah, you to everyone yeah, me. This video, and thank you for subscribing and watching and liking and commenting and all that. Yeah, let me all right, go. Bye, everyone. Yeah, after this reaction and after I react to the new Brendan Rogers video, I actually need to check out the second channel. Yeah. Um, tip if you actually don't want to be a part of the perform performance. Whatever, performance, whatever. How about, um, don't be in front of the crowd? Because usually people, street performers or performers them themselves, usually pick on people in front of the crowd. And 
Well, oh, well, some, 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 some actually do it from the back, which, yeah, so, sometimes either be in the back or be in the middle, because then you, you won't get picked on. Yeah, so, um, if you don't want to be part of a performance, or because you're shy or something, then don't be in front. Literally, I got an idea, just hide under, under people's legs and make sure they don't see you, because then they won't pick you. Well, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. I, I've never been part of a street performance, so that's what I'm just thinking. Yeah. See you guys. See you guys. Enjoy the video. Bye. Well played. Anybody comes to see you guys. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Ah, peace. And now I'm giving you all of me.